Hey guys, in this video I will present a very nice number theory problem, the Swiss Math Olympiad 2023 problem 3. The problem statement gives us x, y and a0, a1, a2 and so on integers such that a0 and a1 are equal to 0 and moreover the recursion an plus 2 equals x an plus 1 plus yin plus 1 holds for all n greater than or equal to 0. Now we consider a prime p and are asked to show that the greatest common divisor of ap and ap plus 1 is either equal to 1 or larger than the square root of p. The idea for solving this problem is to consider any prime q dividing the GCD of ap and ap plus 1. And if we can prove that q must be larger than the square root of p, then the conclusion immediately follows. Because if this is not equal to 1, then we can find such a prime divisor and then it immediately follows that our GCD will be larger than the square root p. And so we write down our claim, which we will prove in the following, that q is greater than square root p. To prove this claim, we consider the sequence a n a n plus 1 modulo q. We will show that this sequence of pairs has period equal to p. And we note that there are only q squared pairs of residue classes modulo q. We will use this to finish our proof. So let us start with considering the minimal positive integer d such that ad, ad plus 1 is congruent to 0, 0 modulo q. Note that the existence of such a d is not trivial. But we know that q divides ap and ap plus 1, which implies that d exists and that it is at most equal to p. Our recursion tells us that an plus 2 modulo q is uniquely determined by an plus 1 and an modulo q. Therefore, we can deduce by induction that an plus d, comma, an plus d plus 1 is congruent to an, comma, an plus 1 modulo q because a0, comma, a1 is also 0, comma, 0 mod q. Since we chose d minimal, this implies by induction again that an, an plus 1 are both divisible by q if and only if d divides n. Thus, d divides p, and since p is a prime number, this tells us that d is equal to 1 or p. Taking a look at the definition of d, d is equal to 1 tells us that a2 must be divisible by q. But a2 is equal to x times 0 plus y times 0 plus 1, which is clearly not divisible by q. And therefore, we conclude that d equals p. We know that the sequence of pairs modulo q has minimum period d equal to p. To use this fact in order to get a bound on p, we will assume that we can find indices 0 less than or equal to i, less than j, less than p, such that ai, ai plus 1 is congruent to aj, aj plus 1 modulo q. This inductively implies that ap minus j plus i, comma, ap minus j plus i plus 1 is congruent to ap, ap plus 1, or 0, 0, modulo q. p minus j plus i lies strictly between 0 and p, which equals d, and therefore this is of course a contradiction to d minimal. In conclusion, the p pairs are distinct modulo q. Since there are only q squared pairs of residue classes modulo q, this directly implies that p is less than or equal to q squared. To finish the proof of our claim, and therefore the proof of the problem statement, we only notice that p is clearly not equal to q squared since it is a prime number. Therefore, q is indeed larger than the square root of p, and therefore we are done.